How can you change everything? How can you finally shift out of the situation that you've been stuck in, the circumstances that are always holding you back, and the life that you no longer want to live? How do you change everything around you? It can be a pretty hard question because you feel stuck, you feel held back, maybe your parents aren't letting you pursue your dreams, maybe it's your husband or wife or girlfriend or boyfriend, maybe it's your friends telling you that you can't make it, maybe it's that you just don't have the resources, maybe you need more money and you're just poor, you don't have enough and you feel stuck and you feel like you can't get out. How do you change everything? Well, you change the way you look at everything. Because you can't change everything. You can't control circumstances. If it starts raining outside, you can't yell at the sky and say, hey, stop that. And then it's done, right? I mean, you might get lucky once or twice. A coincidence might happen. Other than that, the rain is going to pour down whether you like it or not. And your circumstances are your circumstances. So instead of complaining about them, change the way you look at them. That's the key. That's the key to finally unlocking this door and solving this puzzle. Because we think that it's something on the outside that has to change. It's somebody out there that needs to do something. Well, she didn't do this or he didn't do that and that's why I'm here. Or my parents, they treat me like this and that's why I can't because they always tell me I need to go to college and I don't want to start my business but I can't do it because, well, here's the thing. You can't control that. But what you can control is your response to it. You can control how you react. You can control how you view it. For me personally, I used some of these bad circumstances as motivation and fuel to actually move forward and pursue my dream. Instead of saying, well, this person is holding me back, I said, okay, so they're limited in their thinking. They think that this is the only way to be successful or to be happy in life. I'm going to challenge that by going this route instead. Think about that. You could as well say that, you know what? They're right and I can't do anything. I can never accomplish my dream because obviously they're the general of life and they control my decisions and I have no free will and I have no individual thinking. I just have to follow the pack and the herd. I just have to do what they tell me to do, obviously, because they're my guardian or leader or, you know, somebody that you care about, somebody that you really value in your life. But here's the thing. None of that has to keep you stuck. The country you live in, your parents, your uncle, your aunt, you know, your siblings, your friends your personal relationship, it doesn't have to stop you. It doesn't have to do anything. It doesn't have to deter you from your goal and really hold you back in any way, but it will if you let it. That's the key. If you let it, it will. If you let somebody put you in the bad mood, they will put you in the bad mood. If you let somebody get to you, they will get to you. But if you don't, they won't. And that's the beautiful thing is that you have full control over your response and whether or not you invite people to affect your emotions. You can say, you know what, whatever they say, I don't value it. I don't think it helps me. I don't think it's actually inspiring me, motivating me or helping me in any way. Well, in that case, I'm going to stop listening to them because clearly it's not adding any value into my life. I'm not going to put any value on what they say because it's not adding any value into my life. So you just change the way you look at it. You go, you know what? This isn't valuable anymore. I'm not taking this seriously. It's a joke. And I did that with the ideas and suggestions from some of the closest people around me when I was starting my business and pursuing my dream. I became very successful because I made the decision to say, wait a second. I don't care about what anybody else thinks. This is what I want. My heart is telling me to do this. I can feel it in my soul that this is what I'm meant for. So. Why am I looking around me and going, oh, well, that's why I can't, that's why I can't, that's why I can't, that's why I can't. Listen, if you look for reasons why you can't do something, you'll find them, okay? If I ask you, why are you such an asshole? You know, what possible answer could you give me? Well, it's because of the way I was raised, you know? Oh, no, I'm not an asshole and start arguing, right? That's about it. Like, what are you gonna tell me? If I ask you, why are you such a nice person? I really like you. How did you become so good? Well, you know, I had some good mentors and people around me, right? What's happening? Based on the question you ask yourself, you get a reply. So if you ask the wrong question of why can't I make it, you will find reasons for 
why it will never work for you, why you're not good enough, why you're not capable. But if you change your question, if you change the way you look at things and you say, well, how can this motivate me to actually pursue my goal and achieve it, regardless of what my circumstances are? Now all of a sudden, boom, your brain starts kicking into gear and it's like, wait, there's this and this, and you know what? They told me I couldn't make it. Let me prove them wrong. And now you're stacking momentum in your favor, okay? Now you're finally winning at life. Now you're finally seeing the possibilities and you're no longer stuck in that limited thinking of that somehow you're not good enough because your environment tells you that. Your environment means nothing. The richest people in the world come from all different backgrounds, nationalities, gender, doesn't matter. Religion doesn't matter. Culture doesn't matter. What matters is how you perceive, what you tell yourself and the questions you ask because that will determine whether or not you achieve your goals, not your environment, never your environment. Change the way you look at things and the things you are looking at will change for you. All of a sudden, it'll be fuel. All of a sudden, it will actually propel you to achieve your goals instead of holding you back from getting what you want.